Hey guys, what's going on? Tab Tabin here, and welcome to a progress video. And this one's a big one. I let you guys know in the last one that I was going to be grinding out quests throughout this weekend and trying to get all the RFT requirements done. And I have to say that's going at a very, very good pace so far. So uh, after school on Friday, my friend came over, and basically we just grinded out all these quests. And we we have some quests here and there that we uh, like. I uh, he already has done, and I don't. And he has skill requirements that I have, and he and he doesn't yet. So there's you know a little bit of you know separation here and there, but for the most part, we did like all the quests together, which made it go by faster and obviously a lot, a lot more enjoyable because you know, you're not just sitting there uh, complaining about how you can't figure something out because you got a different set of eyes right next to you. So right now in the background here, I'm cooking. I'm working on 70 cooking for recipe for disaster, as well as I enjoy doing this just to AFK as well as get more overall XP and more overall levels. We're getting pretty close. Um, shouldn't take long at all. And basically the plan is I'm not going to be doing Recipe for Disaster today, uh, this weekend. I'm also not going to be doing Desert Treasure this weekend. My original plan was to get, like, literally Recipe for Disaster. I didn't say this in my video, but I kind of wanted to get it done this weekend and get my Barrow's Gloves. And I also wanted to um, get my, uh, if, if not this weekend, I wanted to get, like, maybe Monday or Tuesday, get my Barrow's Gloves. That was the plan. But based off of my combat level, which you can see, I have 64 combat here. And here are my stats. Um, you know, you can see they're not really that good. And because of that, I'm not going to be doing Desert Treasure yet. My plan is to do it next weekend, most likely. And that's simply because that I, I need to get my combat up. Because I'm going to read you off the things I have to kill for Desert Treasure if I can find the tab. I just had this open. There we go. But I need to kill a level 126, a 139, a 16, excuse me, 67, a 174, a 103, and a 96. That's a lot of combat, and I, I, I'm still here in a Ruin Armor and Ruin Skim. And I still have to do Monkey Madness. I'm going to be doing that today as well. So the plan is that I'm going to... I have seven quests lined up that me and my friend are going to do. We're going to do... Um, let's see. We're going to do Tree Gnome Village. I'm going to do Tree Gnome Village. I'm going to do Grand Tree. I'm going to do Monkey Madness. Those are the ones I can do on my own. Then um, uh, me and my friend, we're going to be doing the Taiwanese Cleanup uh, in order to do... Uh, my Arms Big Adventure, we're going to be doing Edgar's Ruse, we're going to be doing My Arms Big Adventure, Underground Pass, Shiloh Village, and then if he can get the requirements done for Legends, because he still has some skill requirements he needs to get out of the way, we both have all the quest requirements, but if he can get the skill requirements out of the way, we're going to be uh, doing Legends today as well, so we'll see how that goes, um, we should be knocking all those out of the way, and it'll be awesome, because currently I actually just started farming, by the way, as you can see I got my second toys in my hand, and uh, I just started farming, I have two farm levels so far. I've done, I think, two Renair runs so far, and I'm currently trying to sell them. And they're worth, like, 10, 11K each, so it's pretty good profit. Actually, I've lost money so far because I've had very bad runs. The, the runs that I have actually not died, I am literally, I'm not getting any herbs from them. I'm getting, like, five herbs, which on average you're supposed to get, like, seven or eight. So I'm getting, like, five, five herbs a patch, right? So that's already bad. And um, then I'm having, uh, my first run I had two die, no, one die. And the second one, I had two die, so I'm being very unlucky right now. It, it's going to be profitable, no doubt about it. I'm not going to give up. It's going to be profitable, but right now I've lost like probably close to 50k so far just because the shit's dying and stuff. But oh well, you know, there's not not much you can really do about that. It happens. You always have bad runs, but so I'm going to knock off all these quests today uh, with a buddy of mine, and then in order to do Desert Treasure and the RFD itself, uh, basically I, I need to get out my combat, mostly mo me melee. And I plan on just uh, doing Slayer for that. I was about to say I was going to AFK Ghouls, but I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be doing Slayer. I need 10 Slayer for one of these quests. I don't remember which. But I need 10 Slayer for something, and I'm 9. Um, and if you guys don't know, if you guys are one Slayer and one Hunter, make sure you do the the Museum uh, Kudos. You can just do all the quizzes, and it will get you 1 to 9 Hunter and Slayer. Which, those are both skills that are very, 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 very slow right off the bat. So that is extremely helpful, and it only takes maybe... 10 minutes to uh, complete that so that's uh, pretty awesome to uh, to do so yeah I'll make sure you do that and yeah I'm gonna be doing Slayer to train combat my plan is to get um, 60 attack for Dragon Sc Scimitar because I'll have that unlocked already because I'll have Dragon uh, Monkey Minus done by then so I'll have the Dragon Scimitar I will have a DDS because I already did Lost City um, let's see what else would I want here uh, I want to get probably 60 defense as well. Yeah, if I want to do desert treasure, I'm gonna want 60 defense. 
and well I'm gonna be getting obviously I'm gonna be getting the stats up don't think I'm stopping here like I'm gonna be getting 70 eventually but for right now I'm just gonna stop at 60 um, so I can wear a dragon and stuff I'll buy dragon boots you know, dragon legs whatever and this is throughout the course of the weekday that I plan on doing this over the course of the weekdays by the way and obviously get my strength up probably do uh, I'd say probably 60 strength as well so we just have even stats which I know you prefer to have strength higher than your other ones but Right now, I'm just focused on getting like new weapons unlocked and new armor unlocked, uh, just so I can uh, do these quests. And I want to get RFD done, then I'll have the best gloves in the game, so that'll be pretty sweet. Um, and I, 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 I was going to do Nightmare Zone to 99 um, in my melee stats, or just high in melee stats, but now that I think of it here, I'm probably going to have very poor um, Nightmare Zone floor, because you don't want to have these... Uh, ridiculous quest monsters in the in your uh, nightmare zone thing and I'm going to have you know like all the desert treasure shit I don't know maybe I'll still do it but I, I, I think I'll probably be slaying uh, throughout most of my way to uh, getting my stats up here at least at first and we'll, we'll see how it goes in the future but this is selling SGS for 101 mil I really hope it's I don't think it's worth that much I have no idea on the prices but I don't think an SGS would be worth that much money but who knows, maybe it is. Uh, anyway, yeah, so that's what I plan on doing. Uh, I'm gonna get that, then I'm gonna do that Desert Treasure probably, I would say next weekend and even earlier if I can. Um, hopefully that'll be possible, because I can actually, because I have all of tomorrow still. Like I'm gonna get every quest I need done today with my buddy of mine, and he'll probably be sleeping over my house, or I'll be sleeping over his house yet again, back to back. Like I said, guys, this was the grind. Um, so I'm gonna get all these quests done today, and then we can probably, um, I can probably start training tomorrow, most likely, as well as doing some room crafting. Cause I'm gonna want some uh, extra cash. I'm running quite low, um, especially with you know starting starting need to invest in these renares and whatnot. So yeah, that's what it's looking like right now. Um, farming, I'll be making some cash from that. I'll also be room crafting as well, and I'm gonna obviously get these out as I just said. And then pretty soon, I'm actually gonna start working on my fire cave. Believe it or not. Um, call me crazy, but I want to get that uh, fire cape already. You know, it's going to be pretty awesome to have that. Um, it's going to be awesome because I'm going to be a low combat level with barrows and fire cape. And I want to explain to you why that I'm so proud of what I've achieved so far. Um, and this is because I used to be the guy that could not stand quests. I couldn't do them, period. And because I'm doing them with a friend, it's definitely a lot better. And it's a, it's a lot more tolerable, no doubt about that. Um, I couldn't stand quests before, back when I played like RS2 and stuff. And I remember I was a level 120, um, I, I want to say I was like, I was 130 combat, I remember this spe specifically. I was 130 combat, and as you know, the max combat level is a 138, so I was almost max combat. I believe I had all 99s in my melee stats, at least close to them. But I was almost max combat, and guess what I was using for gloves? A Regan bracelet. And I was doing like Corporal Beast and stuff, I was bossing with a Regan bracelet. So I literally didn't get Barrow's Gloves until I believe it was, I honestly want to say 135 combat, I didn't get Barrow's Gloves too. It was somewhere in the 130s, like mid 130s or low 130s. I didn't get the um, Barrow's Gloves too. So considering that I'm going to be getting these at probably around level 70 combat, that's going to be really um, a, a big milestone for, uh, for me, for sure. And it's going to show how, how I've kind of progressed in the whole like questing area of RuneScape. And questing obviously is a big part of the game, so... That's a great thing to uh, you know see uh, me overpass. So I'll have these bros go very soon. I'll also hopefully get my fire cape soon. So I'll be like a level seventy or eighty with a fire cape and barrels gloves. And if I can you know room craft the shit town, which I do plan on doing, as I said, I'm still going to be doing uh, that big room crafting goal of getting a shit ton of money from that and getting uh, seventy five um, room crafting. Um, I'm going to be grinding that out. Um, hopefully making some money, and we're looking at. I'm hoping I can get like max strength gear, basically. Um, I'm not. Let me check the price of Bandos right now. Actually, I'm not entirely sure how much Bandos is, but Bandos chest plate only eight mil. That's fantastic. I, my friend told me the other day he thinks it's around twenty mil. Last time he checked. So uh, the chest plate is only eight mil, and the tacits. Holy fuck, those are eighteen mil. And those are really what you primarily want because you can have the. Uh, the torso give you the same bonuses. So interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, these I will, probably won't get for a while, but 
So I won't have max strength, obviously, but I'll have a glory. I, I won't be buying a fury yet. I'll have a fire cape. I'll I'm gonna get farming trials done uh, pretty soon as well. So I'll have a Nezzy home. Um, obviously, I already get 55 defense, but I already said I'm getting 60. So I have a Nezzy home. I got your Fremic Trials and Isles. And I can get a uh, Nezzy home for that. I'll have D Boots. I'll have Barrow's Gloves. I, I want to say I won't have a Zerker Ring. I want to say a Ring of Wealth would be better. Um, I'm not too sure, though. Like, it'll probably alternate, you know, depending on if I even want to spend the money in the first place. So, But, um, second here. All right. Uh, go back to our armor tab here. Yeah, yeah, so that, that'll that be that. And then let me, if I have all 60s, that'll be 120. So once I get like 70 and one an attack or strength, which will probably be what I do right afterwards, I want to say I'll get 70 strength, maybe 70 attack. Oh, well, attack, 70 attacks a whip. I don't know. I'm going to be getting 70 in one of these two stats right here. And once I do that, um, I'll be able to get a rune defender, which would be awesome. Um, because I have to have these two stats right here add up to 130 uh, So I'll need you know a 70 in one a, a 60 in the other and then I can get my rune defender So that'll be the max um, bonuses for the shield slot and then I'll have my whip if I have 70 attack I have a whip I have a dragon skim for when I'm doing uh, Strength and this it's gonna go pretty well. I'm pretty I'm looking forward to it and they're also talking about adding a Strength option for the abyssal. It's not actually. I, never mind. It's not the abyssal whip. It's the uh, attachment for it. The um, the tentacle. So if I'm using the tentacle one, which I'm not going to be using um, for Slayer at least, um, I, I'll be able to train strength. But that probably won't happen. So basically, I'm going to be using a dragon skin for Slayer as well as whip, and I want to get my uh, 70 defense as well, so I can uh, get my fire cape. That's when I'm going to get my fire cape. Once I get 70 defense, I'm also going to get set at least. At least 70 range because I want to have I'm, I'm looking to have Carol's I'm probably gonna want Guffins on the side so we're gonna obviously need some money that's what we're crafting for so Carol's Guffins and what else are we gonna want here that's really it you know we can have 70 range and 70 defense and those will be the requirements for that might need to get my HP up we'll see um, I think I'll be good for a fire cape but that I'll have to look up guides um, I've done it lots of times before so I, it shouldn't be that hard um, but the one thing is, every time I have done it, um, it's been it's been like RS, um, like close to RS three time, I guess you could say, like within a year. Um, so I've actually never done it with the whole like Guthans method and stuff. I've never done it with like Guthans, so we'll see how that goes. I've actually, believe it or not, call me crazy, but I've never used Guthans before um, to like heal myself. Which you know, it sounds crazy, but I didn't play back in the time when you. When I was doing PVM and I was doing Slayer and stuff, that wasn't even a thing you'd even think about because something was always out I, out for me. So I'd always have a unicorn, or I would have like a pack yak or a war tortoise or whatever I had at the time, you know. And I, I would never need to worry about that. So that's that anyway. So that's all for this one, guys. Long video, um, but expect that out of me for RuneScape videos. I love talking about this game, and you know, updates videos take a while to kind of cover everything. So I like to cover things that I'm going to do in the future, so you guys have an idea of that. And I just generally make long videos. If people want to watch this long, that's great for you. If you don't, that's fine as well. So that's all for this one, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to like the video and to become an avatar today. Make sure you click the subscribe button below. I always appreciate that. And that's all for today, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one.